Let's also welcome on board Hemang Jani then and talk about what he's making of the market right now. Hemang, hi, morning. Good to have you on the show. Uh, well, uh, what is it that you make of the price action that we saw on Tuesday, Hemang? Uh, All-time high and then we completely drifted into the red, uh, gave up all of our gains. Uh, does it seem like uh, now is going to be that patch of volatility that we're going to see in the run-up to the elections? Yeah, good morning, Aisha. Uh, yes, I think uh, having seen a very strong move, uh, you know, year till date also, if you see the mid-cap and the small-cap indices are up about 8 to 12 percent. Uh, Nifty is not up much, uh, but I think uh, in the broader market, uh, you know, for a larger time frame, the run-up has been quite sharp. We are in the result season and you're also seeing a bit of uh, turbulence in the global markets. So I think, uh, you know, it would be good to have a bit of a caution, uh, having seen such a massive gain. And also, uh, we should be watching out for the, you know, companies which are delivering uh, very solid uh, numbers or where you have a slightly better understanding of what could uh, growth look like over the next quarter. So I think uh, it's 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 good time to kind of have a look at, uh, detailed look at the numbers, growth and valuations. Okay, fair enough. That's the take coming in. Meantime, lots of brokerage notes as well that have come out. Um, you've got a view coming in from InvestSec on IOC. They've downgraded the stock to a sell from hold, saying that the Q4 earnings were a bit of a miss and the earnings volatility is only going to persist. Do you concur, Hemang? What's the outlook on OMCs? So OMCs, I think uh, today, uh, you know, because of the way the crude has actually gone down, you might see a bit of a pullback. But... Uh, what is happening uh, there is that you're seeing a bit of a lumpiness when it comes to numbers. Also, the crude price because of the geopolitics uh, had remained relatively strong. But yes, if one has a, about, a, let's say, three to six months kind of a view, then surely uh, some of these OMCs present a good entry point, particularly HPCL uh, and IOC where the valuation comfort is more. And we do think that uh, uh, keeping in mind the you know slightly more reforms post-elections uh, these are the companies that can give you a decent 20-25% kind of an upside. Lerian versus Tata Motors, they both have done extremely, extremely well. Extremely well. Uh, is there a trade in uh, Tata Motors, uh, according to you, uh, Himang, or there is a trade in Ashok Leland? Uh, Nikunj, uh, from a, let's say, medium-term perspective, Tata Motor continues to uh, look good. I think if you look at uh, the uh, monthly numbers also, uh, the extent of variance in case of Tata Motors is about 29%. And also the fact that, uh, you know, globally, uh, the JLR portfolio is shaping up well. The numbers, by and large, are looking, uh, you know, very decent with very good margins. So I think... Uh, Though Tata Motors has been one of, the, one of the best performing stocks in the auto space, I think even at current price point, it is looking quite good. Ashok Leyland is more of a tactical play because, you know, while all the auto stocks have moved up so sharply, Ashok Leyland has been slightly, uh, you know, underperformer and it's catching up. So I think from a, let's say, two or three month or short term perspective, there can be some more 10, 12 percent kind of an upside for Ashok Leyland also back to that screen again and i'll tell you why that is important for me there are two standout uh, features here one tvs motor is doing very well and within that there is and then you got iShare and hero motor corp so this entire uh, theory that okay rural india not doing well and that means two wheelers will not do well that is passe now and that is more and more evident within two wheelers evs incrementally are increasing whether that's the data for uh, TVS Motors or that's the data which you're getting from other uh, auto companies as well. See, iShare, I'm talking about Ari here, guys. They've kept their market share dominance intact. Competition from Honda and Ari, Triumph and Bajaj distribution, BMW tie-up of TVS. Ari is still the first port of call are the first choice when it comes to the premium biking segment. Year on year, 10% uptick. Month on month, 8% uptick. 10 years ago, the average sale was not even 20,000. So this category in a sense has expanded, which is what is important in terms of understanding the setup here. Himang, uh, where is iShare headed? I mean, it's been a great, great money multi-bagger. If you bought into iShare with the assumption that Indians will 
be moving more towards premium biking segment a simple idea has really made has created a lot of wealth now that competition is knocking on the heels of re do you think it's time to get worried I think Nikunj, part of that uh, underperformance Aisha has already gone through when we had major launches coming from uh, both uh, Bajaj uh, in terms of Triumph launch and Hero when they did the tie-up with Harley. I think, uh, you know, now the scenario that we are looking at is where you are seeing a very strong revival in the two-wheeler space uh, and overall growth is much better than what the market was really uh, expecting given the weakness that one is really looking at in the rural market. So I think uh, uh, clearly uh, it would be good to have some exposure to two-wheelers now, whether you know you have a liking for Bajaj or TBS or uh, you know the uh, the other one. Uh, what is important is that you should have some exposure. Our preferred picks at this point of time are TBS Motors and Bajaj. We think that these two companies uh, should deliver a very good uh, 16 to 18% kind of an upside from current price going to come into focus you know we flagged off uh, uh, the numbers coming in from Ambuja the fact that it's a bit of a mixed bag and an overall miss uh, given that the path hasn't quite matched up with the street expectations uh, Hemang what is the call now on the cement pack because going by Ambuja's numbers um, you know uh, it seems like that could be the trend for the rest of the cement pack too Case of Ambuja numbers were okay, but I think uh, when you look at Ultratech, the beat across the you know parameters was very strong, and uh, even otherwise, it is looking uh, you know much much better. So I think uh, if you really want to play cement, I think Ultratech is the uh, you know go to stock. Uh, we should watch out for the numbers from some of the uh, regional uh, you know cement companies. Uh, particularly the south based ones, you know, India Cement, Ramco, or uh, the smaller ones, Sagar Cement. I think if you get a little color, the kind of, uh, you know, pricing uh, and, and the volume growth one is looking at, it would be good to have some participation over there. But overall view on cement continues to be positive. Take on is Indigo with respect to their conference call highlights, talking about uh, uh, some operational or optional orders that they have got in, as well as how uh, they are looking at some strategic relationships with the likes of Rolls Royce, expanding their overall fleet. How are you reading into this? I think a big positive, uh, Avan, uh, because uh, you know, first time the company has placed its order for the wide body aircraft. Uh, and, and the focus in the con call uh, is very clear that they are going to be focusing upon the international operations. And uh, given the fact that there is a plenty of room in terms of the market share gains and the, the, the profitability is much better, I think this would be another trigger when it comes to uh, the Indigo. And no doubt the stock has been the best performing stock valuation-wise, not cheap. But if you really want to have some exposure to both the travel theme and the, particularly the international travel part, then I think it would be a good allocation stock to have in the portfolio. Okay, Heman, great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for taking the time out and joining in. Let's just take some uh, mid-cap trading ideas. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.